Protesters looking for answers as police come prepared. Officers on hand tonight putting up police tape at the first Tempe City Council meeting since a former cop was cleared of criminal charges in the deadly shooting of a teenager. The city promising action tonight, hoping to keep something like this from happening again. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw is live for us tonight. Zach, emotions running high. And likely more emotions to come, Katie. Tonight we learned that the city is going to be hosting community conversations to discuss police reform out in an open environment and also hear from members of the community who are frustrated. The first one in just a few weeks on March 3rd. Donning signs with Antonio Arce's face, protesters sat and waited to address the council, a stark contrast to the meeting one year ago. This time, it was more respectful, but the teen's death and no criminal charges against the officer who shot him were still fresh. We need to see a change to the use of force policy. A child is not a threat to an adult. Officer Joseph Hine is not stable and fit for the, the community. ABC 15 uncovering this week, Officer Hine had been diagnosed with PTSD from the Iraq war but was cleared to police the Tempe streets in 2012. Now, some council members say they want a review of the department's policies and procedures. We want to be a city that recognizes that we can do better. Pastor Andre Miller, who will lead the community conversations, is hopeful they'll make an impact. What I hope to accomplish is bringing the community to the table, having some transparent, uh, uh, real dialogue where we can see some substantial change in policies to make sure that we don't have another incident like this where a 14-year-old kid's life is lost. And for the first time in a year, council members, police officers, and community members appeared to be moving towards the same goal. I know you can only provide so much, but if you work with the community, the community will work with you. Now, important to note, before any activists actually addressed the council, the mayor told them that had Officer Hine not resigned, he would have been disciplined for violating department policy. Live in Tempe tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.